Oh, well, now I'm depressed. <laughs> rest in filth? No, do not rest in filth, Nico. Come on, don't dis don't disrespect chocolate. I love chocolate, like it was my real horse. I don't have a real horse, but that's why I play video games to have a real horse or to have a horse. Hello, bear. I got no business for you right now. Get out of here with your bear self. You better get out of here. And stole one of our arrows, you bastard. Whatever, what are we going? We're going this way. Well, maybe we might find a way of climbing this hill a lot better if you're not mounted. But I'm still gonna be very sad. For some reason, I can't put away my bow. There we go, now we can. Alright, let's check with this. A boulder murdered a horse. Now it's going to rock. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. Yep, I knew it. We're gonna have some enemies over here. It's a village for nothing. Whoop, never mind. Swanna just one shot him. And resin from the dead. What a slap in the face. I feel like I've been here. Yes, I actually have been here. This is the quest for. What is it called? Somebody's still fighting over there? Just fighting some bandits? It's a bandit versus a bandit, and she just killed her own bandit. They still? Yeah, yeah. Well, Serana, your toy is dead. <laughs> this is the part for the Halalu quest line. That's where I got the bow from. Because I remember this slab, and somebody used uh, ice magic to turn this guy into just a piece of ice. And we had to go inside the mine over there. And I believe that is a war chief that alluded before. Can I? Oh, there's water. I want to avoid the water as much as possible. Let's go ahead and avoid that. And I believe. And did we get shot? Ow! Well, we'll be fine. It's a flesh wound. <laughs> I believe that is actually the war chief that we found before. He was supposed to be found dead. Oh yeah, but now he has his helmet back. But at least he doesn't need his comfort, so I'll take that. Apparently this quest either reset or something, because I remember finishing this quest. I did every part of this quest out there, and for some reason it's still available here. Got another orc over here, that got shot right in the shoulder. I got nothing, never mind. Let's continue on. Fine, I'll change it to Goodnight Sweet Prince. That's better. Now that's showing chocolate some respect. <laughs> See? If it was anybody else, I wouldn't mind, but Chocolate was my trusty horse, my trusty companion, and I loved him dearly. He was my trusty steed throughout the Skyrim adventures, and I loved him dearly, and I want to make sure I want to make sure you guys pay him proper respects. <laughs> you can't really change it. Well, the fact that the horse is dead, I can't really do anything about it. I can only get another horse and hopefully learn to love it like I love Chocolate, but... There's not much I can do otherwise with it. Am I going to the right place? I think I'm not. Well, let's go here. Is this the right place? I actually have no idea. I'm just going up. Going up, up, and I am keep going up. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going... I don't know. Follow boy. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I think this might be the area. We're getting close to the grove, and there's also a dragon hangout place over there. I'm not really feeling comfortable with it. Let's go through here. The next horse should be Vanilla or Vanille, just because references. Next horse is going to be Vanille or Vanilla. I'm, I'm completely okay with that. <laughs> okay, we got an arrow stuck in our face. Let's go ahead and get that out. Wait, that's a Rob in six, never mind. There we go, remove projectile. Let's go and get that out of our face. And then let's enter the cave. So all we gotta do for now, let's go ahead and get a bow of shadows again. So all we gotta do for now is go inside, retrieve the bark cutter, uh, forgot what it was called. Son, what, would be better than this? what, the cave or the snow? It's fine, Serana, we'll just go inside and we'll be just fine. Julianus is the god of wisdom and logic, usually associated with magic. He is often revered by wizards. He has a shrine in the Temple of Divines in Solitude. I want to add a mod that adds more loading screens like this for me, because seeing the same ones over and over gets a little boring. And it would be nice seeing some new ones that add kind of like some little tips here and there. 
Under normal circumstances, pulling that out of your face would result in you bleeding out. Now the chat is not being updated because of the new browser that I'm using, so it will be updated in a bit for all of you that are watching the video. Next horse should be uh, Arvok. Probably gonna go with Vanilla or Vanille. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to get myself like a cream white horse. I'm not sure what what type of what breed of a horse should I be looking for in that case. I have no idea. Let's go through here. Actually, before I do anything, quick save, because I don't trust any games whatsoever. So eight Skyrim edition. Oh, <laughs> I guess there's not much of saw happening. It's just a horse dying, which kind of sucks because I loved it. I loved it dearly, and it was my greatest companion. Wow! Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. There's a, like just one light right then and there, just streaming down to the center. I guess that's where we gotta go. Some water. Let's avoid that. Okay, there we go. This is the draw knife, and somehow it's hovering in the middle. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Is this it? Yeah, I guess this is it. Let's go ahead and harvest wood from it. Can we get the bark? Like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. All right. Let's quick save real quick, and then let's collect some moths here. I love the dearly, but it's a horse, not a deer. <laughs> God, so can I not mourn my faithful companion? <laughs> it's probably my torch. Hold on one sec. Let me turn it off. Actually, I'm gonna keep it on just in case in here, because this place is kind of dark. It's not really brightly lit. All right, let's look for some more moths to add to that little moth collection. Got a bunch of them flying around us. I guess they really like the bark. I'm not really exactly sure what the significance is. But I think that's where the moth priest term comes from. Is that the moths are somehow involved in their ability to read the scrolls. Can we find some more here? Yeah, we got a couple more over here. Hello, my little lovelies. My little minions. Come, follow me. Follow Temril. Onto the magical adventures that we'll go on to. I have no idea why. Oh, we are starting to glow. To glow. Oh, yep. We're, yep, we're glowing. Got like a glowy orb happening with us. And we found another set of moths for some reason. I wasn't even looking for them. Let's see, where are more of them? There gotta be a lot more somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Come here, lovelies. Come here, my pretties. Join the flock. Are you not gonna join the flock? Oh, there we go. Join the flock. And now we are l turning into the sun. We are literally turning into the sun right now. We're gonna be as bright as a flashlight. Or a lantern, I guess, in this case. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. Alright then, sounds good. Alley oop. Nice and easy. I go stay away from the water, because I don't wanna I wanna avoid the water. I'm gonna ruin the moment more and say he became chocolate sauce. Okay. <laughs> Way to mock the horse more and more. Alright, so we stand here in the center. Let me quick say before we do anything, cause I could always mess this up. Thamriel and the chocolate factory. Kinda makes me think that chocolate is the horse that went to the glue factory now. Because, you know, horse and glue, whatever. <laughs> hey, Bacon, welcome to the stream. Wait, what's going on? A live recording of the episode. Okay, so first I gotta read the blood scroll. Alright. Then the dragon, I think. And now we use the scrolls, all three scrolls, to figure out the location of the bow. Yep, we got Morthal, we got Drag Dragon Bridge, and that area on top left, up there. Right? Are you okay? I almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Considering we're green and scaly, that's impressive, to be honest. <laughs> Who's chocolate bacon? Chocolate was our trusty steed, and it got and it died not in a heroic battle, not against an epic boss, but actually got actually got killed because a rock rolled onto its hoof, and that was an insta kill. 
Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Never mind that. It worked. After everything we've been through, it a damn well better work. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Uh, I believe it's in a place called the Darkfall Cave. Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Mm, the scroll gave me its exact location, right between Morthal and Dragonbridge. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. We need to get some food. Oh, I kept Tamriel is hungry. He's just sitting here, he's like, hmm, this scroll searching, or well, this uh, bow searching is building up an appetite. <laughs> also, we gotta get uh, Sarvana a... What is it? A backpack. We gotta get her back. Oh, hello. What is that? That's a vampire. That's a gargoyle. Never mind. It's not a vampire. It's a gargoyle. And they're rolling in. Good God. Okay then. Evie, please don't die there. Oh God, I should give Evie some salts. If Evie had salts right now, you'd be unstoppable right now. Okay, we're switching over to melee weapons. Clearly these vampires, or these whoever. Vampire Thrall, yeah, there we go. Vampires, clearly they are not messing around here. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them. I believe vampires are weak against fire. Oh god. That's not good, that's not good. Oh, there's a vampire lord. Come here. There we go. Let's get this guy over here. Oh, oh, hello, hello. There you go, there you are. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. We need some health potion over here. Health potion. Uh, damage fire. Nah, that's not what we need. Uh, two, 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 two. Extra magicka. We don't need extra magicka. Healing. There we go. That will do. Okay, done with you. I think we're good. Swan up. Up. Oh, she's injured. All right. Let's go ahead and get everybody mended and repaired. Uh, survival skills. Remove projectiles. Okay, Nico, don't post that, please. I would prefer if you didn't post that stuff. At least not doing recordings. Okay. Wonderful. Let's search through... Actually, let's get the bow equipped so I have it ready. Let's see. Uh, let's go through Ashpile, Amethyst, Adobe Arrow, I'll take that. Amethyst, Vampire Dust. I don't need any more Vampire Dust. I got like 47 stacks of it. <laughs> Uh, summon Satan again. Ah, uh, let's not do that, please. I prefer if you didn't. Iron Double Axe. Well, that's kind of new, actually. The first time I've seen it. Steel Longsword, Orgish Dagger. No, these guys got nothing. What about this Vampire Girl? She might have something for us. Gold. Uh, vampire Armor of Conjuration. No, that's not what I need. Take all this, though. And I'll pick up my arrows that I apparently missed with. My aiming gets really bad whenever I stream. <laughs> Probably is the nerves of being watched live or recording. Will any face? Yeah, please. No spam, please. Or ban. Yep, Snow is here, so I trust Snow, and if he believes that you deserve a ban, then you deserve a ban. Or at least a timeout. I was playing Cry Fury today, scared the crap out of me. Hey, Taurus, welcome to the stream. Uh, the Cry Fury is fun, but definitely something you need to like get yourself mentally prepared for. Because even though with the bad graphics, the game is freaky as all hell. And the fact that you got limited ammo is the scariest part about it. Uh, I am yet to try playing the game co-op, but I should see if one of my buddies would like to play it. And maybe we could stream in the future, but yeah. Welcome, Taurus. Welcome to the stream. I'm not good with horror. I don't think a lot of people naturally are. I think it's just something that, that just builds up. Or the people like me that is scared and freaks out, but just finds a way to just keep on going somehow. I have no idea how I'm able to. <laughs> Sam, how old is Tamriel? Uh, I would say Tamriel is about, if I had to give him an age, 20, 21. Hey, Christopher uh, Holtman, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Stream slash live recording of the episode. This is the behind the scenes stuff. What have we got here? Oh, steal from the chest. You know what? Before I steal, I'm going to go ahead and crouch down. As somebody who needs to survive out there in the wilderness, we don't mind stealing a little bit as long as it's not extreme stealing and clearly these people were did not care to come back for any of their valuables because they left their tent here or two tents or two bedrolls clearly they don't care about the valuables Let's see what does this take us to up here what does this take us to is that a place i remember and 
Angie, or Angie, not Angie, right? Yeah, Angie, I completely forgot about her. I still need to recruit her to the uh, the Hunter's Guild once that's established. Right, what do we gotta go? Touch the sky, locate Ariel's bow. That is over there by the Orcish camp. The Orcs were not gonna let us in, I know that for sure, for certain. But let's go ahead and fast travel there so we can get to the place and uh, kind of go on from there. You leaving now, Christopher? You can stay if you want to, go for it. Are you feeling better today, Sam? Yes, I, yes, I am. I don't know why, but here's the thing. I'm not sure if any, any of you guys are feeling it, but yesterday I realized that my body wasn't really feeling sick as, as much as just frail. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but just everything in my body kind of just felt frail and weak and fragile. I don't know. It just f My body just felt frail, and I wasn't sure if I was getting sick or not. Uh, turns out, actually, a lot of people are, uh, at least in my... Uh, in my hometown are feeling the same thing. A lot of people in my, in my class are feeling the same thing, feel, that feeling of frail. I and mean, we're thinking either something is going around or something is happening with the seasons or the air pressure or whatever. But my buddy who lives in another university, he felt the same thing on Sunday. I actually got to talk to him a little bit then. He said he was feeling the exact same feeling of this frailness in the body. And we don't, we both don't really know what it is, but I don't know. My brother felt the same thing, by the way. Alright, so let's go and find that location. Uh, and it crashed. Okay, uh, then we should do more RP. Um, I mean, I do as much RP as is already in the game. I'm not much of an RP, really. I do know a lot of YouTubers that do RP, and they do RP great. One of them being, uh, I believe, Sergeant Air Ryler, or Riley something. He is uh, really, really cool. I enjoy what he's doing. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a similar thing. It might take me a while to... I don't know. I'm not really... I'm not really good when it comes to like RPing, but I could try it out at a certain point. Maybe with Fallout 4, who knows, maybe? Uh, why don't you cover Far Cry? Uh, I already played Far Cry on streams before, but it's not a game It's not a game that I really want to stream at this very moment. Rocks and Hopefully valley, it. crevices and hiding places. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. Or orcs with a giant fort over here. By the way, I got an upgrade for like an upgrade village mod, and that makes forts look incredible. Absolutely just in, in expansive, immersive, and huge, and I love it. Anyway, I think it's actually a pretty good time for us to wrap up with Skyrim. We can do something else. Not trying to be rude. I love your channel. No, Caleb, it's not it's not a rude thing to do. I accept any kind of feedback and any kind of device completely. Uh, I'm I'm very open to that. I mean, RP sounds really fun and everything like that. I just don't know what's the best way to approach it or how to do it properly or how to do it in a way that will be entertaining and stuff, you know? Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of end the Skyrim episode right here. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have to deal. The sun is... That's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean. In next episode, Serana. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for everybody that is hanging out with me on the stream. This will be uploaded on the proper times after I add it down and... Use some movie magic on it to make sure everything looks nice and proper. I'm not sure if this is going to be used. Uh, not sure if I'm going to be doing another live episode again. But let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something more of that. Or if you'd like to attend one of these live recordings in the future. Anyway, my name is Damriel. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. And as always, have a great day. See ya.